welcome back to my channel in today's video i will tell you how to become a cabin crew even though you don't have any experience whatsoever if you're still a student or you are working in a different field and that field is not related to customer service if you're still a student and you don't have anything to write in your cv i'm here to help you i'm here to help you achieve your dreams and keep on watching because at the end of the video i will tell you something crazy that will make you laugh and also i will show you how to write your cv and to get accepted and to be a cabin crew don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the thumbs up and share the video if you like it and let's start I know it's frustrating. I know that everyone is telling you that you have to have previous experience to be a cabin crew. Everyone is saying that. Everyone is telling you that. But I'm here to help you and to tell you what to say during the assessment day and what you should also write in your CV. Yes, it's true. If you have previous experience, that will help you a lot, not just in the assessment day, but also when you start flying because you already know how to handle customers and that will help you a lot. But I'm an example of someone who did not work in a customer service field and yet I managed to work, I managed to enjoy the job and I managed to keep the customers happy. You are a student right now. You are doing your master's, you are doing your bachelor degree. You don't have any time to work a part-time job, but that but then yeah, you go to the assessment day and they expect you to say that you are working in that field already. What am I supposed to say? Am I supposed to lie? And also we tell you do not lie because if they figure out that you're lying, you will be in big trouble. What can you say here, guys? What can you say? What is the thing that you should say and they will take you immediately? I will tell you that in a bit. Also, if you're working in a different field, for example, I'm an architect, I didn't work in a customer service field so how did they accept me I will tell you that as well I know in many 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 foreign countries you guys work as a part-time job because you need to support yourselves and you don't live with your families but I know in Algeria here like 90% of us they don't work when they're still students because they live with their families and they depend from their families so it will be hard for them to like just say I was working as a part-time job and it's hard to like convince the recruiters that you were working a, a job when you are still student. The first thing that you need to do is sell yourselves. I always tell you that, sell yourselves. Make the recruiter feel like you can make customers happy. Think of anything, literally anything that you can think of that happened to you in your real life that you watched in a movie even and just <laughs> make it look like you did that in your part-time job or in your charity work as well. Make them feel that you will be a great part of that amazing team, that you will really bring success to the company, that you will help in the development of that company. That's what they want to hear. They want to hire someone that they will trust and that person will keep working in the company for years and years and years and be always a part of that development. Now you're a student. Think with me. What can you say that will convince them and that will make them feel that you will be a good part in that company? Think with me. What can you say? Think about charity work. Think about part-time jobs that you did. Think about anything that you think it will help you. It will help your situation. Something realistic from your country. For example, I was helping my neighbor. I was always helping him in the store. And I always like uh, dealt with customers. I always made our customers happy. I always brought new customers to the shop. I even like go online and I post product. I, I post products and I bring new customers to the store. If you're working as an architect, as a teacher, just think of any scenarios that happened with your customers, with the, the parents of your students. For example, when you're a teacher, you will say, like whenever we meet up in parents' meetings and stuff, the parents get to know me and I talk to them and they trust me a lot. And I even make a small business for myself and the parents send their children for me to teach them as another part-time job that I do outside of the school. 
and this made me build a professional relationship with the parents and they're always pleased with the amount of effort I make with their children for them to develop their knowledge blah 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 blah, blah. like just make up scenarios like this anything that is related to customers and here the parents are the customers for example, if you're an architect, you can say, I always bring new projects to the company and the director is really, really, really pleased with the amount of efforts I make for the company to like rise and to have new projects and to bring more profits and profits every single month. If you're an assistant, you can say that the director was really, really pleased with me, how I treat our customers, how I bring in new customers, and I even had a raise recently. Make sure you sell yourself, guys. Please make sure you do that. Make sure that you will convince them with every single word that will go out of your mouth. Make sure you do that. And for the CV, you can see, I'll just like put an example here. You have to highlight everything that you want them to see. They will only have seconds to check your CV and then highlight everything you want them to see. Start with your professional experience. Start with the recent one. The recent one needs to be on top. And if your recent one was not related to customer service, make sure that you put the one that is related to customer service, even if it was charity job, if it was a part-time job or something that you wanted to do and you imagine yourself doing, make sure that you put that first because they will see that first. They will not go and check what did you do in 2016, because they don't have enough time, but they will for sure see the things that you did recently. And then move to the educational achievements. Make sure that you highlight that you have a baccalaureate degree because they don't really care if you have a PhD or you have a master's. They want to see if you have that baccalaureate degree. Make sure you put that in bold. And also put the recent one first and then go to the like old ones. If you have like two master degrees, it's fine. Just put the recent one first and then go to the old one. The same time when the recruiter is checking your CV, make sure you sell yourself in that time as well. Make sure you talk to the recruiter. Don't wait for them to ask you questions and to be like, tell me about yourself. No, do not wait for that, please. Start talking about yourself. Start selling yourself from the moment you step in front of that recruiter. My name is da 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 da. I was working da da da. I have that la 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 la. Like you mentioned your educational achievements and your professional experience. You talk about yourself. What can you bring to the company and why do you want to be a cabin crew? Don't wait for them to ask you. They want you to sell yourself. They want you to talk about your CV because if you do that, they will know that you will be a good member in that company. And now story time. I made this part specifically in my video. I'm trying to remember as many stories as I can, not just for you to laugh, but also to learn and to have like extra knowledge from anything I can give you. And this story is also related to the recruitment and is also related to Qatar Airways assessment day. I've seen this happening in front of my eyes. Don't tell me how I did see it, but I did see it and it was like, Ugh. anyways, during that day, there were a lot of guys and girls, a lot of guys, and most of them, they don't even speak English. They just came to the assessment day because they're trying to hunt beautiful girls because they know that during that assessment day, there will be a lot of beautiful and attractive girls, of course, because they're trying to be a cabin crew and they look gorgeous and, you know, they dress up and they look amazing and everything. Anyways, there was this guy and he was so funny so funny for real and he was wearing a suit a tie like his look was good you know for a cabin crew anyways but he didn't speak any english whatsoever he just like knows thank you and like what you know basic 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 words anyways he didn't care he entered in front of the country uh, sorry in front of the recruiter and she was like tell me about yourself and he started talking in arabic you know when he kept talking you know and she was like shocked she was shocked, you know, how could you do this? And then she started talking to him and he's like, what, 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 what? Shocked. Anyways, and she's like, yeah, thank you. So it means we will send you an email, which means 
just go, please go, okay? Anyways, he left, he changed. He removed his uh, jacket and his tie and he entered again, imagine? He entered again and the recruiter was shocked. She was literally shocked, like, what is this? Are you trying to like make this recruitment day a joke or something? And this was not the first guy. So the recruiters, they were actually angry at everyone and then they started just you know when someone enters they're just like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, go and then i received a lot of messages from you guys and they were like they didn't treat us right they didn't even give us time to talk but you see why because they will not have patience anymore they've met a lot of people who were not serious during that day they just came to laugh and they will just think that everyone is like each other so please guys if you're going to hunt beautiful girls stay outside you don't even go inside because you're ruining other people's chances you're ruining their chances to achieve their dreams and you're doing this just to have fun you're wasting your time and you're wasting the recruiters time you're making the recruiters that we are not serious people so if you're doing this please stop doing this it will not lead you to like hunt a girl and everything you will just waste your time and other people's time and the recruiters, they are serious, but if you abuse them and if you do this and so many people did this and they come to the recruitment day and they don't speak Eng any English whatsoever and they are not serious and they're not dressed well, so they will just think that everyone is the same and this is a message that I'm trying to pass to you guys. Please stop because you're ruining the chance of other people and thank you for watching and join us on Instagram and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up and share the video if you like it and see you on the other videos and bye bye